welcome to Bucket Coding Tutorial. This is episode two, and today I thought I would do something uh, kind of simple-ish, I guess. I I'm going to say simple-ish because, you know, <laughs> I just, I, I kind of like doing simple-ish things for the first episodes or so. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and review our progress. So last episode we created uh, this, so I'm actually going to go ahead and copy over uh, this just so I don't have to do anything. We're going to say episode two and episode two. Um, so what we are going to be doing today is we are going to uh, be doing some stuff with um, inventories and stuff, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So we're going to say public void. Um, we're going to say menu, uh, create menu and make sure to always have convention and do first is lowercase and the rest is capital. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's say, yeah, we'll do player. So I don't want to get too advanced. Now keep in mind, I am using, um, What's it called? Uh, 1.8 now from now on for all the tutorials. So make sure you have that. I believe I might have done that in this. No, I did not. So last episode we were just using basic uh, stuff. Now we are using 1.8. So just uh, keep that in mind. So we're going to say inven inventory inv equals bucket, and we're going to have to import bucket dot get server dot uh, let's say create inventory we're going to say inventory holder is null and we're going to give it the no, my, that's not supposed to happen we're going to give it the value of oh no it has to be a number uh, one and then do that now it actually can't be one uh, it has to be a certain type of inventory but we could do uh, inventory type dot yeah there we go so it can be inventory type dot and then whatever so uh, I am going to do hmm well we could we could really do anything here uh, I'm going to say actually we could do stuff with anvil that'd be pretty cool hmm well, let's just say enchanting made me. Uh, I don't know how that would actually work. Never mind. We're just going to do for now. We're just not even going to do that. We're just going to say eight. And I believe actually that has to be nine. Well, okay. We'll just leave it as nine. And then if it is an error, then I will fix it with you guys. Now we're going to use our special character. We're going to say... Uh, we're actually going to do ig prefix plus and then uh, swag inventory <laughs> because why not uh, now we're going to do a thing called item stacks item meta and a few other things so what you can do with item stack is you can say item stack and then let's just say item one equals bucket dot oh wait no 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 equals new item stack and then parentheses or not I, I forgot what these are um, this this thing this curvy thing I forgot what it's called uh, new item stack and then material dot and then you can choose whatever you want now I have access to 1.8 things because I'm cool and that's what we're using uh, so let's say we could we could really do anything I haven't really done anything with this um for now i'm just gonna i'm gonna do tnt and you have to import material and item stack from uh bucket not minecraft item stack that will lead to problems now we want to go ahead and say item meta uh, item one meta equals item one dot get item meta and we have to import item meta and that can only be imported from bucket uh, so now we have an option to add something. So item one meta dot, we can add enchantments. We can um, get any enchantments on it. We can get the or we can get the display name. We can set the display name. We could 
uh, has con we can see if it has a conflicting enchantment. Uh, we we can do a lot of things, but for now I want to do set display name, and we're gonna do that. Now we actually do have to create an array list to do lore, so I'm actually going to do that now. So we're going to say array list, and we're going to do string, and then we're going to say um. We're just going to say item one lore equals new array list and then string. And we can just go ahead and import array list from java.util. Now we want to do item one lore dot, oh, item one lore dot, and then add, and then do that. There we go. So now we can add something to the lore. Now I don't normally do this on my plugins for my actual server because I feel like it takes too much time for me to add it, but uh, sometimes I do. So I'm going to say this is a lore and display name. I'm going to say this is a display name and then that's, <laughs> that's going to be my thing. Now you could just for say leave it like this. First of all, we are not using the item stacks. We're not use, we're not setting the item meta to this and we're not even having a way to open the inventory yet. So we're not going to go there yet. We're just going to say uh, item one dot set item meta and we're just going to do that. And, oh, no, it can't be a string item one meta. Now we actually do need to go to, down here. Item one meta dot set lore. And we're going to say item one lore. And that sets the lore and the display name. That's why I don't like to do it because it can be confusing to go back and see what this is, but I kind of got the hang of it. So we're so now we're we're saying the invent and this is actually unused right now, so we can actually close that off real quick. This is gonna give us an error, but don't care about that. Uh, so we're saying item stack, and we're saying what it, what we're gonna call it equals uh, item stack, and then we're saying material.tnc, which means TNT block. And right here, we're saying item meta item one meta equals item one dot get item meta. So item one is supposed to get its item meta. And down here, we're actually setting uh, what it's supposed to get. And we're gonna say array list string, so that's a, just a fancy list sort of thing. Uh, and we're gonna say it's a type of string and then we're saying item one lore Which is the name of it is a new str uh, List uh, with a string input and then we're gonna go ahead and add this to our string uh, So now we want to do in but set item and then one or zero and then item one and now in is actually invisible because we broke it <laughs> And there we go, that's how you do it. And then you actually have to do player dot open inventory. And then we wanna say, inf. and we can, there we go. So we have our methods, so that's creating it every single time um, the method is called. Now, the reason I like to do this, in case the inventory is somehow modified, it will fix itself and it won't be all buggy and it won't have problems. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and be lazy and go ahead and copy the the on command system and we're gonna do that we're just gonna do that and we're gonna say episode two and then we're not gonna send them a message because that's lame we're going to player i don't know we have to first of all we have to call the method so create menu and then we're going to say for player and there you go so it's going to create and open the inventory all in the same time. There is a command, so we do have to add a plugin.yml. Uh, I'm just going to copy this and paste it in there. Yeah, come on. So we have this commands episode two. And we're going to change this to episode two and this to episode two. And there we go. So now we can actually go ahead and fire up the test server. Now I believe. This does will have to be changed to eight. I just want to go ahead and make sure in a second here. Let me get my dev builds. Uh, which one is it? Uh, episode one is in here. So we're going to copy that. Come on. And we're going to say uh, dev plugins or deb. We're going to make a new plugins folder. We're going to copy episode one in there. 
and we're going to copy episode two and put it in there. So we have both of our plugins running side by side, no errors, just to see how cool it is. And eventually we can compact every single plugin we make into one huge project using a lot of stuff and it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty cool. So as you can see, I'm using 1.8. Episode one is currently working within um, the system. Oh, we don't want we don't want to buy anything. Thanks, Mojang. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, it's running. No errors. I don't think there will be any errors until we call the method and say nine because that's what I did my first time and it completely broke the plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into the testing server. And I'm going to go ahead and type in episode one and episode two. And yep, that's what I thought. Um, oh, no, it's just title. It's title stuff. So we just we're just going to name it swag inventory and do that. And let's go ahead and re-export that. And hopefully it'll work now. If not, we'll have to change one more thing. Episode two. Yep, there we go. So. As you can see, it's titled Swag Inventory. It is nine slots. You do need to use nine here. But the way Java counts is that you have uh, zero basically equals one. So if you say, I'm going to use this as an example. If you tell a person and a computer to count to five at the same time, if the computer is running Java, it is going to go ahead and say zero, one, two, three, four. And the person is going to say one, two, three, four, five. And the way Java works is it just says, okay, we're just going to take away one from that. For some reason, they decided to do that. Uh, but yeah, right here has to be nine. And down here, when you set it, zero equals one. Just remember that you have to plus one every time. This slot is eight. This slot is zero. So we can actually go ahead and take the, this is a, this is a display name and this is a lore. Um, and, you know, we can blow up a village with it and it works fine. There are ways to block this using an inventory click event. Yeah, so I'm actually, I kind of want to show the, uh, yeah, we're, we're running kind of, not really short on time, but yeah, I, I want to go ahead and mess with events. So we want to do extends Java plugin implements listener. So this is going to be our basic events thing too. Not really. I'm just going to kind of speed through it. Event at event handle. Hand, hand, la, 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 la. public void on um, in click and we're going to say inventory click event event and there we go and we do have to import inventory click event and event handler uh, so now we're going to go ahead and say event dot get inventory dot get display oh no let's see get uh get name and we're going to say dot, uh, let's see, equals, or no, how would we do this, name, oh wait, no, okay, it'd be an if statement, it would not be like that, hold on, um, does not equal, and then we're going to do this as a string, and there we go, so we're going to say if the name does not equal, and then we're going to go ahead and copy over swag inventory, so it just knows if it's not swag inventory, we're just going to return and say something's wrong. And now what we want to go ahead and do is if, if, uh, let's see, event dot get, uh, get, let's see, get current item dot get this, no, no, get item meta dot get display name and then just a string. Bam. Uh, oh no. Wait, hold on. Dot get display name. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I broke the plugin. <laughs> hold on. If event dot get current item dot. Uh, <laughs> dot get. What can we get? We're just going to get item meta and then dot get display name dot contains and then a string. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually go ahead and check what the um, 
display name is so go ahead and copy over your display name and we're just going to say at that point if in where if we are not in the swag inventory this will not actually happen uh, but if uh, the the current item has a display name and it, it and it contains this is a display name then we're going to event dot set canceled and then true so if we click it it won't do anything so we can go ahead and export that and this should work slash reload slash clear episode two and now oh hold on are you getting an error or not why Oh, oh, we forgot, to, we forgot to register events. The one important part. So we're going to say uh, bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager, and we're going to say dot register events this this. And that's only if you're working with one class file. That won't work if you're working with multiple class files. So don't try that. Uh, slash reload and episode two. There we go. So now if we click it, we actually click other things inside of our inventory. It doesn't bug out. If we're clicking air, it doesn't do anything. If we're clicking these, it doesn't do anything. So it's a lot better than my old method of using cases every single time. But now we can't take it away. And it still has our custom values to it, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that is episode two of Bucket Coding Tutorials. And I believe I'm going to be leaving all of the code inside of a paste bin or some some form of thing I don't know and you guys will be able to copy it or look at it and this is just a really basic tutorial and yeah that's how you do item stuff with items and cool stuff so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all again next time take care